It's official, the Bank of Canada has increased the overnight rate by 50 basis points or 0.5%, bringing the total to 4.25% for the overnight rate. And the best part was the tone of the message is saying that, hey, we are likely going to pause and not do a rate hike in January and see how the rate hikes that we've been doing seven consecutive times over the last several months are going to impact the economy. Increases in interest rates, you have even 25 basis points, take 12 to 18 months to have their full effect on the economy. So we've done a massive increase in 2022. So we need, and it's smart for the government to say, hey, we are finally going to take a step back and let these interest rates do what they're gonna do to the economy. Keep watching to find out more of what brought on this slightly more aggressive rate hike of 50 basis points instead of 25, and what is likely to happen particularly in the real estate market as a result. Hey, this is Jonathan Lerner with the Vancouver Life Real Estate Group and EXP Realty, bringing you all things real estate related, news, updates, market stats, and what you need to know to be able to inform to make the best decision possible when it comes to your real estate needs. If you gain value from this video, make sure to like, to subscribe, and to click that bell to get notified of future videos as they come up. And please, I know you know somebody that needs to hear this message as well in this video, so please click that share button and share this link as it also helps the YouTube algorithm and get this video seen by more people. In Canada, GDP growth in the third quarter exceeded and performed stronger than expected, and the economy continued to run in excess. Canada's labor market also remains tight, and unemployment levels are still near historic lows. And while commodity prices have stayed strong, there is starting to get growing evidence now that this tighter monetary policy is starting to slow the demand. While the third quarter did exceed expectations, that consumption did start to get moderated a little bit more and coming as a result of these interest rate hikes that we've been experiencing and the overall cost of living and inflation that has been a part of all of that. Real estate, of course, the prices have gone down, but again, we're only down about 8% from the peak, whereas out east and other parts of the country have seen themselves come down about 25% from the peak. So Vancouver is a very micro market. Now, with that said, our sales last month in November 2022 compared to November of the year before, we are down nearly 53% in total sales. Now, that was a very strong, frothy market when everybody was buying whatever they could that came on a market during that time period. I'm very curious to see how Vancouver does in our micro market because again, we do operate differently. Our inventory has not increased anywhere near the extent that they have in the rest of the country. So our inventory is still very, very low. And anecdotally, what our team's experiencing, I mean, just yesterday, we lost in multiple offers on a 40 year old condo that, uh, was expecting a special levy come up and just three years ago they repaired the roof and it is still leaking. So there's issues with the building and yet that went into multiple offers. Our other, one of our other clients also just lost out in getting a pre-sale project access because they did it via lottery. Put the name in, register, and it's a lottery in terms of who gets picked and that project sold out in Abbotsford. So there's still extensive demand out there from buyers wanting to be able to get into the market because we've been at a standstill and sitting on the sidelines for quite a while. And as things are popping up, that makes sense as an investment standpoint, people are jumping in on those right away. The real estate, it operates a little bit differently here in the Vancouver market due to a few factors. Despite the interest rate increase that we just had today, I only see Vancouver home prices dipping slightly more, 1%, maybe 2% and then flatlining and starting to come back up because the economic factors that we have in play here are just very, very different. We're geographically restricted on all sides. We're lucky if we can build 25,000 new units per year in our area, and yet the government brought in 700,000 people last year to the country, and typically 30% of those come into the greater Vancouver market to start. I want you to take a look at this graph here coming up, and it is the population growth that we've experienced here in Canada over 2022 and what the US experienced. Now, no, remember that the Canada's population is about a tenth the size of the US, and yet we grew by 700,000 people in terms of total numbers of our population. The US grew by about 900,000. So we basically grew at 10 times the rate in terms of our immigration compared to the US. We have a hard time building 25,000 units in the GBRD each year. And in the global financial crisis uh, in November of 2008, we had 20,455 units available for sale at that time. Right now, we have just over 9,000. So our current 
economic supply and demand uh, factors that are in play here are very, very different. And our labor market is still at historic lows in terms of unemployment. Uh, economic factor GDP growth is still growing, albeit a little bit slower now with these interest rates that have happened. And overall, we are just in a very different situation. And so as a result, and this increased uh, number of people that we are bringing into the country and even greater goals for the coming years of uh, 500,000 just for PR, let alone students and uh, other visas that they bring, work permits that come into the country, it's really hard to think that prices are going to come down much further, especially here in the Vancouver area where inventory is so low. And I only see it dipping us a little bit, plateauing, and then starting to come back out of it by the time we get halfway through 2023. And there's your update for today's interest rate hike from the Bank of Canada on December 7th, 2022. If you got in some value from this video, please like, please subscribe and click that bell to get notified of future videos that I put out there to ensure that you are informed on the real estate market. If you know someone that would gain some value from it, please click that link to share it and pass this on so other people can view this content as well and get to understand what is happening with their current home's value or the home that they wish to purchase in the future. And if you have any questions you want to chat about the market or your situation, go down in the description below this video and you can book a 30 minute consultation with me and just chat whether you are looking to buy, sell, invest, or if you just want to chat about the market and your situation, go down, click that link and book a 30 minute call with me and let's chat about your needs and where you see things going in your journey in the coming years. Have an amazing day. See you on the next video.